Uh, I do not want to have to deal with this this morning. Gloves. Oh, uh, don't touch me. I'm sterile. Hi my friends, what is going on and welcome back to the channel. We have some errands to run today. Well, we have some stuff that we gotta knock out. I have to finish bleeding the brakes on this from the Brimbo update, refresh, rebuild, install thing that we just did on Karma. Uh, I need to get that short block sent out down to out front today, so we need to go get a box, get a shipping label made, pack that thing up, get it sent out because we want a capable engine for this car. Very much so. And if we have time, I'd like to get those tires mounted up onto our Anki RSO 5 RR so that way we can actually get them test fit on the car. But I've also got something really big that I've been working on the background, which is why videos have slowed down a little bit lately that I can't fully share with you guys quite yet, but hopefully I can within the next week or so. Fingers crossed on that one. Let's get the brakes bled on this thing. Because if we don't have brakes, we can't stop. Then I'm gonna run into a pizza delivery boy. Do I have any brake fluid? <laughs> Break fluid. Just come over here, take you off, fish you out of there. I need a, damn it, I got brake fluid. I hate brake fluid, this stuff gets everywhere. Now I'm hoping this is the last time I gotta bleed these. I'm really hoping so. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Now let's see, do these brakes feel any better? Oh dude, yeah, hell yeah, you feel good. You're feeling good. Stick you. Right, how do how our brakes feel? They feel like they could be doing better. Bro, it's never ending. The brakes, it's never ending bleeding these. I'm gonna bleed them one more time and we're gonna call it good. All right, with the brakes as they are, let's get the wheels on and get out of here so that way we can go get a box to pack that engine in. Well, it stopped in the driveway, so that's gotta be a good sign, right? Hopefully. Now we need to go get a box. Let's go get a box for this engine so we can get this thing packed up and shipped out. Let me grab a tape measure real quick so that way I know what size box. Because we need to have the right size box for our package. You don't want to be too big or too small. 16, 13, 12. Let's go get a box and try not to die. Hopefully our brakes work. Also, for those who are curious on the Flock Dash, this is what it looks like reinstalled with everything. Came out awesome. Like, couldn't be happier with the way it is. And it feels like nice. It reduces like all glare. But why is my access port off? Let's go make sure we have brakes. Okay, let's see. Do we have brakes? Oh God, dude, there's still air in there. I have to keep bleeding them. Ah! They work, they just, uh, maybe I just need to bed in the pads a little bit. I don't know, let me go drive around a bit and find out. Drove around a little bit. I'd say the brakes are seven out of 10 right now. They could probably use another rounder to, I'm sorry, I, there was a, like a spider that was just like slowly creeping down from the ceiling and totally distracted me. But the brakes could probably use another round or two of bleeding. Uh, they do feel a lot better than they did before. It's probably also because what is this spider doing? It's probably because the pads need to rebed with the rotor a little bit, but swung over to Office Depot, snagged a box, whole bunch of packing peanuts, so we can get that short block shipped out. The tiny dog also decided to come outside for a bit, didn't you, tiny dog? Didn't you? Didn't you? You're just a tiny dog. I know. I know. Let's just grab this stuff. Packing peanuts. Cardboard box. Cardboard box. Cardboard box. Cardboard box. Cardboard box. Peanuts. That looks like it should hold. Now, for the special, special spice, some packing peanuts. I feel like that's a nice layer of Nice layer of packing peanuts there. And then, oh yeah, dude. Much better. Oh, that's a lot of peanuts. It's funny that a Subaru engine fits in a 18 by 18 by 18 box and only weighs 58.4 pounds for the case halves. 
good to know. So I need to go make a shipping label for this so we can go drop that off, but check it out. We have our Manly connecting rod. So these are the HTUF Plus series. These are rated up to 750 horsepower. So those should be plenty good for our application of what we're doing for this engine. So, so far we've got our rods. We have our crank right here. We're slowly gathering parts. When that comes back, it's gonna come back with pistons and head studs. So we're gonna be running half inch out front motorsports head studs with that thing, which should be more than capable of any power that we throw at it. Well, up to 750 horsepower because that's obviously our limit with these rods, but sick. Let me go get a shipping label made for that. Then we can go drop that off and then go get these mounted on those. All right, let's see if I can fit this thing in the back seat of the blob eye. I am strong like ox. I am strong like ox. She fits. Dope. I wasn't expecting it to fit. It fit. So with the engine in the car, let's go drop it off at FedEx. I don't know if I can fit all these wheels and tires in Karma. I don't know if that's gonna happen. We're gonna try. If not, Melanie said I could use her car, but we're gonna try. Engine's been dropped off. FedEx, I'm trusting you because I feel like everybody deserves a second chance. Don't destroy my engine, please. So the engine should get dropped off Monday or Tuesday down at Outfront. I've already talked to Jeremy. He said as soon as he gets the engine, he's gonna pop that thing open, take a look at it, inspect it, and make sure that everything is still serviceable. It should be serviceable because I pulled it out of a running 06 STI, so I'm fully expecting those case halves to be like perfectly good. Uh, we're doing closed deck, rehone of the cylinders, new pistons, uh, machine up to half inch head studs, reline hone if we need to for the crank and the main bearings because we, we want all that to be within spec. So, now that all that's done, let's go get some tires installed on some wheels. I'm gonna try to fit them in here. If they don't fit in here, we're gonna take Melanie's car when she gets home, go get those tires put on the Yankees, and then get the Yankees actually test fit on the car and back on the ground so that way we can see how they look and to see how far they stick out without flares because I know those things are some beefy wheels and tires. Beefy. I think those wheels are what, 18 by 11 plus 16? some quality meats right there. After calling around to a couple tire places, I finally found one that can do this size. Apparently not a lot of tire shops can do 18 by 11 with 265 tires, so found one that's gonna be able to do it. It won't be done till later tonight, so we're gonna have to go pick them up around 7 p.m. or so, but we're still gonna test fit them on the car. Like, we're not gonna not do that, so let's get, let's play Jenga some more in the STI and see if we can get four tires and four wheels to fit in there. Do this as a team. Come on, come on. Oh, dude, we totally kind of maybe got this. Ow. Maybe not. Ugh. Is that gonna close? Don't. Tires are in, now wheels. Uh, how am I gonna do that? And some of you question why I got this car and got rid of the BRZ. Managed to fit four wheels and four tires in here. So we got two of them right up there hanging out with me. We got four tires in the back seat and we got another two wheels back here. So I'm gonna get like a blanket or a divider to put in between those two so that way they don't smack into each other. But let's go drop these off. So fast forward about four hours in the future now, got the wheels back from the tire shop. Uh, dropped them off at like three and it's about 7 30 now uh they were just so backed up they closed at like six but i got them the tires um they stretched a little bit more than i thought they would probably should have gone with like a 275 or a 285 but the 265 it'll work it'll work all right it'll work it's probably good that we have a little bit of stretch on there um just because i know it's a very tight fit between the back of the wheel and the coilover could be worse they look so good with tires mounted on them. So here's what I was talking about. There's a little bit of stretch on there. Like it's probably a good thing that we have that little bit of stretch. I'm, I want to test fit one. We're going to test fit one on the car and see if it fits because I'm going to be honest. I don't even know if it's going to fit on there. We're going to find, I mean, we're going to find out. I got to pull off the wheel and the spacer, get it on there and kind of see where we're at. I think the wheel's going to protrude too far and it's going to be hitting the fender. I don't know. I don't know. A white a fender flares will fix that, but let's find out. On today's game show, we play Will It Fit? Will It Fit? I'm sure you're gonna want to open up your box of Brimbos that I'm using as a tripod stand, aren't you? Those are stretched. Those are stretched more than I thought they'd be. Are your flares yet? 
Do I have my flares yet? They haven't even shipped. Okay, man. Rub it in some more, why don't you? Oh, bro, I don't even need to flare it, man. Bro, that's perfect. Bro, that's perfect. Try and turn your wheel. What are you talking about? It's going to hit everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't even need flares. That's perfect, man. What do they call that? They call that poke? Is that poke? Am I hella flush? Honestly, I feel like that's pretty good for fender flares. Like, that comes out at decent ways. The flare will probably come out to about here. Dude, I think that'll sit perfect with the flares. Can we focus on the car? There we go. Dude, those wheels look so good on this car. With the Brembo change. Oh, daddy. Can I say that? Yeah. I, d I said it. Daddy. Is box. that my box cutter? No, that's my box cutter. It's my Milwaukee one. What the fuck is mine? Uh, hi, my name is Matt. Hi, my name is Matt. <laughs> Pop it. There's some stuff in there. What is in here? Yeah, there's some stuff in there. Oh, oh, oh. oh I lose those. That'll be fun to get out. They said bad threads, not broken bolt and caliper. You didn't say cross threaded bolt. You said bad threads. We can still fix it. It's whatever. It's easy. The other one has literally, no here, let me see that caliper. Matt bought these for uh, for the Outback right there. Literally no threads. We bought these knowing they had bad threads, but they didn't say there was a broken bolt in there. Dude, it comes with brake pads. Free brake pads. Hey, is that one good or are those threads bad? I'm gonna <laughs> guess those threads are bad by how far in those bolts are. Uh, yeah? Oh, yeah, dude, there's no more threads in there. They're on the bolt. We're on our way, boys. We're on our way, boys. Are you excited to get those on the Outback? I'm excited to get them cleaned up. Did you order your wheels? Shit. You order your wheels yet? No. What ones are you getting? I don't know. That's why I was saying I gotta find out. You getting the Weds or the SSRs? I'm trying to pick from now. So, so Matt's got Brimbos for the Outback. He's getting new wheels for it to clear the Brembos accordingly. I need to find out my scrub radius. Two. Hmm? Two. Two? Two. What the hell does that mean? It's your scrub radius. No, should should Mac get Wed Sports or SSRs? It's the SSR, should we vote? The SSR GTX 04s. Or? Or the Wed Sport TC 105X. So to be honest, I don't think you can achieve Perf like even more perfect fitment than that. Like it's, it's perfect as is. We don't need to do anything else, right? <sighs> flares, who needs flares? Anyways, that's all I got for you guys on this one. It's just a chill day. Um, we got our connecting rods, we got our engine sent out, we got our tires mounted, we got our brakes, brakes bled. It was a successful, good day. As soon, the hardware for the flares show up Saturday. So as soon as the flares get here, we can do a little bit of body work on them because I'm assuming we're going to since they're fiberglass, they're probably going to be needed. They're probably going to need to be smoothed out a little bit. It's so whatever. We'll knock it down the garage. Not going to be that bad. We'll get them fit up on the car. We'll mock up what we're going to cut. We'll cut up the car. We'll get the flares installed. After they're installed, we'll take them off. We'll send them out to get painted. We'll wait two days because I'm guessing turnaround time or something like that's going to be like two, three days. I don't know. And... Hopefully we can get some more stuff going on the EG33 ST. I know Kyle's been super busy this week with Memorial Day on Monday, kind of screwing up the entire schedule with everything. So it is what it is. Anyways, if you guys like the video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button. Turn it black, blue, green, yellow, purple, silver, cyan, whatever color it turns for you. Color of the day today, brown. I don't think brown's ever been the color of the day. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you want to be, because we got a lot of good stuff always happening, go ahead and hit that button if you dare so to do so. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Which who knows when that'll be. Probably tomorrow. So peace out, homies. Woo!